Hello everybody and welcome to Celebrate Southern Africa. My name is Dawn Denton and tonight I've got Monica Admin Queen. She's like the goddess at Celebrate <laughs> and she does all the admin. She loves spreadsheets. Don't you just love spreadsheets, Monica? Oh, I do. Even at work, everybody knows I'm the spreadsheet person. <laughs> I love I love that you love them because I don't love them so much. I suppose because I don't know what to do with them. Both of us are working together to get the market ready for next year. But of course, we can't be running the market of, you know, there's a, a little issue that we have to get over first. But once we've got over the virus and things are back to normal, we'll be doing the Celebrate Southern Africa. So this evening, I wanted to talk to uh, Monica about her amazing crafts. When did you start making crafts? Well, <laughs> I suppose I started crafting when I was quite young. I got my first sewing machine when I was seven years old and made Barbie doll clothes and always loved everything crafty since then, I guess. I learned to knit and my gran taught me to crochet. Um, and I only started really doing jewelry in about uh, 2009 or 10. It was when I came back to England this last time. And, um, made friends with Hope Best, who does the lovely glass. She does the most amazing stuff and I loved her workshop. I absolutely loved it. I love my stuff. I thought, oh my God, I created that stuff all on my own. I'm so clever. Yeah, it's gorgeous, <laughs> isn't it? So tell me about um, your, your business. So you, your business is called Giraffe Crafts and where did that come from? And when did you decide to start making some money from it, not just having it as a hobby? I started in 2015 with the Giraffe Crafts. Um, I teamed up with my friend Rachel um, from Corsham at Chippenham who does um, artwork and uh, my cousin Julie who was doing some sewing and we decided to pull our things together and we needed a name that would be Africa based but and sort of more general rather than just jewellery. So we came up with Giraffe Crafts. <laughs> Rachel designed my logo. Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. I think it's fantastic. And it really says what it does on the tin. It's crafts and it comes from Africa. Well, yeah. African inspired craft. Yes, definitely. So um, you, so what's your favorite thing to make? At the moment, it's needle felting. I um, don't have one here to Ooh. show you, but um, yes, I'm doing needle felting pictures for the most part, which I absolutely love. All my, my needle felted pictures are currently in the shops, so I don't have any with me. Um, but I have done a really nice Africa one, sort of like a sunset picture. So I'll be taking a video of it and then getting it onto my Etsy page um, over the weekend. So yeah, it's really pretty. <laughs> Is it difficult to do? No, not really. Um, I started doing the 3D um, needle felting and then moved into the pictures and I actually prefer the pictures. It's quite, it doesn't take me very long to do them. It's quite quick, but um, yeah, you just have to use your imagination a bit. And <laughs> I did one of Table Mountain as well, which has turned out quite nice if you look at it in person. But if you look at it on a photo, you're kind of like, what is that? <laughs> so you have to see them in person to see how nice they are. What's your second favorite craft to do? I think making the jewelry, I um, quite like putting together a variety of beads and you never know what turns out. At the moment, I quite enjoy doing these little, little jars. So the little Christmassy jars, they've got, this one's got a, if you can see the little Christmas tree inside. Oh yes. That's yeah, so those cute. are quite fun. And Megan, my daughter, she helps me a lot with those. I've, I have an Africa one as well. Um, you can see the little Africa inside the jar. Do you have a production line with, with your daughter? Do you sit there and work oh, on yes, it together? Oh yes, yes. We sit and she puts the, snow, the fake snow in and the pebbles in and I add, add the charms and then we glue it all together and I add the ribbons. So she does the bits that are more fun and I do the boring bits. <laughs> <laughs> Assembling it <laughs> together. I like the way you... I like the way you planned that. So um, this Christmas, of course, you are hoping to uh, get people to buy some African jewelry. So tell us about the jewelry and show us what you've got. So my main line is the earrings. So I'll show you a few different um, earrings. This one, let me just try and get the light a bit better here to, there we go, that's a bit better. So these are Those little are Africas. Gorgeous. And there's a few different um, varieties of them. They come with different colored beads or little amber beads or kind of wooden ones as well. Or we can do them 
just the little charms by themselves. Um, and then those are stunning. I love them. We've got the big, the big Africa charms. Light is not the best. <gasps> With an Africa on them, uh, people who like more chunky, chunky jewelry, and um, the big elephants as well. They're quite popular. And then we do a Christmas oh, wow. range. So we have we have angels. These are oh, a little bit so they've got little um little skirts and all sorts, halos. Um these ones are the angel wings and they also do really well. I've got a smaller version of the angel wings as do well. So So if you've got um angels with halos, do you have naughty angels as well? <laughs> I could probably put one in a little red dress <laughs> with a little red halo. <laughs> you look a bit devilish. <laughs> and then off the angel side, we've got little snowmen, which are made from beads um, and things like Christmas trees, also from little green beads. And snowflakes for people who prefer oh, something these. a little bit more simple. So you can wear those at any time of the year as well. They're not just focused on Christmas. Yeah, so th there's quite a lot that are sort of a bit more generic. Um, there are the horses for, for horsey people. And then even the ones that are just beaded. Um, that one's pink. But oh, red. yes. Yeah, Different so there's colors. the red. Yeah, so the red can be Christmassy or all year round. Um, all of the earrings have got sterling silver hooks and um, the um, charms are um, antique silver, um, but they're all sterling silver hooks. We have a very limited edition of gold. Um, so this is a gold plated charm, but the earrings are sterling silver, but with a, a 24 karat gold vermeil on them, which is how they plate them. So we've got a few of those um, and a few rose gold ones. Better for better for hyperallergenic um, stuff. Yeah, so the, the sterling silver. silver. I do have a few platinum um, earrings, or sorry, titanium, not platinum, titanium earrings for people who are hyperallergenic. Um, so the the um, titanium works quite well for that. For that. So if people are interested in having a look at the um, the jewelry, where can they go and find the jewelry? Um, at the moment on Etsy, um, so my Etsy is giraffe craft without the S on the end, um, uk.etsy.com. It is, it should be linked on my Facebook page as well, which is giraffe crafts 15. Um, the other range of right. pieces, which are not quite jewelry, but um, are accessories. So we have the little bookmarks with the elephant or Africa or pretty much any of the charms can go on the bookmarks. And then we do the little small charms as well. Oh. So like those little bag charms. I know you remember these Dawn. We have, we even have a little, a rugby ball and a rugby boot. There. Oh. And even a poiki pot. Oh, look at the that. man in your life. The tiniest little uh, poiki pot to go on My goodness me, where did you find all these amazing? <laughs> In my They're travels amazing. along the You've way. You've got all these lovely African charms. You... Yes. <laughs> and then the, these and are um, our... So you've got all these jewellery. Have you got other crafts? Yes. Yeah, so these are our latest key rings, which are combined, combined macrame with jewellery and um, put a little African <gasps> charm. I love macrame. <laughs> I love macrame. Yeah. Oh, I love it. And then we have a, a few... That's amazing. Um, cards which i haven't actually made but one of the ladies who does our uh, workshops um card workshops at our cards um she's made these specially for me they were meant to come to the celebrate southern africa market so that's when i've had them since um but they sort of a variety of um you know with a similar africa sunset feel and we have a couple of these for the more out there people with the little zebra about living your life in colour. <laughs> and then I also do the canvases, which are really popular. So these are 15 by 15 centimetres and you can have them in a, a sort of a group, a group together of similar, similar styles or just on their own if you, if you like. These are the new ones I've got, which is um, a protea 
which my so I'm, I make these by decoupaging a paper napkin onto the canvas and then I varnish them um, with a, a varnish so you can wipe them clean if they get dusty um, but these paper napkins were sent over by my sister from South Africa and um, they took about 48 hours to arrive with DHL I was very impressed <laughs> Wow, that's very good because I yes, can imagine. Yeah. I mean, we don't send the thing is, we don't send stuff home anymore because no. it's not going to get there, and we're just concerned about the, the courier costs and all that kind of stuff. But that's amazing if it's worked, yes, yeah. And then the other two pictures I have, um, these were actually made by Megan, my daughter. So it's made um, by painting lollipop sticks, sticking them together to make a little. A little plaque and then she paints it with a stencil so there's a giraffe um, and a little elephant oh, and she fantastic. does them in blacks and gold and then they get framed in it's like a little box frame so it's got a deep a deep um inset there but yes those are lovely um i believe they're they're doing quite well in the um kalahari kitchen in trowbridge um a few of my things are there and those those have sold quite well in there so i'm pleased about that for her so <laughs> she's making herself so a, a whole family get into crafting <laughs> it's, it's a whole family affair i love it and what does Absolutely. she enjoy doing um probably apart from watching netflix at the moment what she's doing is she's <laughs> she's quite clever actually because she's making a deck of cards for a friend for christmas so she's taken just a plain deck of cards and on the back um she's painted over it just with plain um, acrylic paint and then is drawing a disney character different disney character on each of the cards so she's got 52 different disney characters that she's drawing each one by hand and then painting it and then she varnishes over and then she's going to give her friend a deck of cards with a personalized disney characters on the card wow so really she's lovely. so talented goodness yeah, me. she's been hard at work with those she's going to get it done in time uh, well, well, we hope so. <laughs> She's got <laughs> nearly a month. <laughs> so, uh, so you live, you live, um, tell us a bit about where you live in the UK um, and where some of your stuff can be found if it's not on the Etsy store, if it, when the real stores open. Um, I live in Corsham, which is in Wiltshire, near Bath, about nine miles from Bath, um, sort of between Swindon and Bristol along the M4. Um, and I've lived in Wiltshire for about 10 10 years i think so yeah love it out here beautiful countryside kids are happy out here and um i stock my um my goods and shackles in kalahari kitchen in trowbridge i also stock um in yates in a shop called the home crafters and i've just begin begun stocking in the new south african stock uh, shop in maidstone which is called the leaping buck so yes, I think a few things have sold there as well. So that's gone really well. I need my earrings still need to go out to them, but the rest of my crafts are out there as well. So that's fantastic. So what are your plans for giraffe crafts in New Year once Christmas is finished? Well, just before Christmas, I've got a couple of markets which fingers crossed go ahead in the outdoor ones. So they've been allowed. So I think I've got one on the high street in Corsham. I'll be there with my stall on the 14th and no, no, 12th of December. And I think the 19th of December, I might be down at the Surrey, the Rother, Rother Farm. Uh, I can't remember what it's called. Rother, Rother Valley Farm, the South African um, farm shop. Um, so they're going to be having a stall so i'm hoping to be down there as well and i think that's the only ones i've got booked up before christmas usually i would between october and december i'd be i'd have about 30 Hectic. markets so but yes yeah, so my my goal for next year is to get more of my things online the hard part is taking photographs of them um <laughs> in a good light when it's very gray outside <laughs> So that's my challenge, get all my, of my things photographed quite nicely and then um, get them all online and just start, start building up my online stock so that, um, I'm, as you can see, my workshop behind me is busy, slowly getting very organized with everything in little boxes. And um, so that when I do want to sit down and craft, I've got everything where I need it. So that's, that's my plan. 
So when do you when do you sit and enjoy doing crafts? Is it evening times or weekends? When do you have the time to sit down and just focus on being present with the craft? Yes, mostly mostly evenings, I guess. Um, usually when Megan and I are sitting watching a program or two, at the moment it's Blind Spot followed by um, I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. And um, so at the moment I'm sitting crocheting um, and knitting Christmas hats and beanies, which is my new line coming out. It's called Cool Beans. And my slogan is Bean Hair Done Hat. And I'm busy <laughs> making little Santa beanies at the moment. So they'll also be going online in the next week or so. So I'm just finishing those off. I've ordered my little logo tags that are going to be stitched on. And um, so that's what I'm busy doing in the evenings now. I've got a few orders for some um, Christmas blankets, um, rainbow blankets and um, a variety of other ones. So yeah, so that keeps me busy at the evenings. And then on the weekends I, in the daytime, I sit and do crafts because the light's a bit better. You know, when you hit 40, your eyes go downhill and then you need glasses for everything, especially when you're doing very little fiddly bits and pieces of jewelry. <laughs> That's the beauty of getting old. You get wisdom, but you lose so many other things. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so um, tell me, about, do, you, you work, do you work full time? Yes, yeah, so I work um, full time in the civil service. I enjoy it. I work five minutes down the road at the moment, working from home every day, um, but probably go in once or twice a month um, over the next few months until life starts settling back into normal, hopefully. Um, I was meant to be actually be going to South Africa in December, but that's all put on hold. So, yes, yeah, so I know I'll, I'll continue to work full time. I love my job. So I'm an executive assistant. So I get to organize other people's lives oh, and fantastic. play with my spreadsheets. So <laughs> I really enjoy that. And um, so, yes, I'll stay working full time and just do um, do the uh, crafts on the side and most of that online. Um, sort of towards the first quarter of next year we're going to uh, start doing our uh, craft workshops again through the crafty hub um, so we do fused glass needle felting um, macrame so all those sort of workshops will start up again um, probably around march now if someone wants something specific and they want to commission something can they get in touch with you and have a chat about if, if it's something you can do like if they want something special done. Yes, definitely. I, I do. That's what I do quite a lot of the time because um, my charms, I make up and um, earrings with the colours. I make everything sort of just what I pick out of the box first goes on the charm bead wise. And often people will say, oh, I like that charm, but I'd, I'd prefer it in blue or in purple with purple beads. And so a lot of the time, even when I'm at markets, I have all my tools and my supplies so that I can sit and edit charms and earrings and <laughs> bookmarks to, to suit whoever's shopping with me. So I make sure I take everything with me so that I can I can customize things for people. So yes, yes, definitely do, so do customized orders. Is your is your life as um, organized as a spreadsheet? Does if, is <laughs> everything else as clock work as clockwork as a spreadsheet well i live by my diary in normal times i live by my diary i will say i have neglected my diary in the last <laughs> eight months because nothing yeah. much has been happening so um but normally i i do live my life to the minute and everything is finely tuned and planned in so um although my house is not as organized as i am <laughs> it's probably because I've lived with children and I have too many things and too little space. So my, my goal is to declutter and I've made a very good start with that. Declutter my house and declutter my things so that, um, yes, I can get more organized and have less things. <laughs> but quickly, how we can get hold of you. I mean, so you on Facebook, are you on um, Instagram and, and, and on Etsy? You've told us you're, you've got your Etsy store. We'll put the link here with a video. But tell us where else people can find you. Um, so yes, on Instagram, on Facebook, um, both of those. I haven't got onto Twitter or um, what are the others? Not Tinder. Um, what's the other one? <laughs> um, oh, the little TikTok video. I actually might try to get onto TikTok because I've um, seen on some of the craft groups I've on, people do little um, video clips of as they're making their jewelry or just a little video clip showing their jewelry so I think I might I might go TikTok. Give it a go. Yes but otherwise I'm, I'm on Facebook Messenger everybody usually contacts me on there um, 
I think my number's on Facebook as well at some point, somewhere. So pop me a text on WhatsApp or just straight through Messenger or through one of my pages. Fantastic. So what are your plans for Christmas? What are you up to? Well, I'll probably be a quiet one on the family of the max of three families. Um, probably just my cousin and my uh, kids and myself on Christmas Day and meet up with a couple of cousins and friends Christmas Eve and Boxing Day, I guess. So, yes, probably a quiet one. I'm going to decorate my house for Christmas on Saturday. This is my goal. I have decided 2020 is over. The rest of the year will just be Christmas. So my house will be <laughs> transformed. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much for joining us and i'm thrilled that you are you just you inspire me because i just want to be as talented at crafting as you I oh, thank you i can make it <laughs> and i just I'm, make it I'm, up as I'm i go like, a dream <laughs> yeah, but there's a confidence in that you know you can't just make something you've got to kind of have techniques in your head and you know I, I really I really admire you because I think you're you're amazing Thank with you. the skills that you've got with the crafting. So um, yeah, good luck for Christmas. And if anyone wants to get in touch with you, I'll post all the links. And um, yeah, we will Thank you. chat very soon, no Thank doubt. You. Yes, definitely. Thanks, Dawn. Catch you later.